Ah, the end of the year. We spent all December counting down the days, exchanging gifts, eating far too many cookies, though there's always room for just one more. We admired the twinkling lights and wondering if there'll be snow. It's hard to imagine how it's already come and gone. But soon the decorations will be packed away as we make room for the gifts, the socks, oh, the so many pairs of new socks, for which I am grateful. And then just days or hours away, New Year's is just around the corner. We'll break out the champagne, we'll tell ourselves the things we'll do that we were too lazy this year, preparing ourselves for next year, raising a toast to new friends, new wishes, new starts. Some of you will surround yourself with family and friends to celebrate the countdown. Some of you are a bit more adventurous as you dance until the wee hours in the morning, and a few may be catching yourself falling asleep on the couch, waking up just as the clock strikes midnight. Out with the old and with the new. But as the clock winds down to the start of a new year, what if, what if, it were a bit different this year? Instead of a night of confetti and uncomfortable shoes with yet another glass of bubbly, what if you took a moment to yourself, a moment to pause, to reflect, most importantly, to recharge. As we bring this year to a close, I'd like to guide you through a very simple visual experience as we say goodbye with this year and hello to what's ahead. I'm Chad Lawson, and let's comment down in three Two, one. Last year's New Year episode was about loving yourself. How did that go for you this year? Did you listen to the episode? Were you able to practice the steps? Were you able to erase the list of resolutions for this year and simply love yourself? I hope so. I truly do. With the year coming to a close and the expectations of next being so ambiguous, it's no wonder many of us might be feeling a little overwhelmed. Some of us might be bursting with joy as we reflect back on all of the successes and accomplishments this year, while others may be tearfully missing loved ones who have since become distant or passed away. Despite the highs and lows of this year and what they've been, there's no need to feel anxious about what lies ahead, because whatever it brings, it will come in due time. All you can do is focus on staying positive and making sure your health and your safety come first. But I want to share with you a lovely technique to bring in the new year in a calm, meditative way. There will also be something that you can take with you, quote unquote, whenever you need a moment to calm your mind. If you would, let's start by finding ourselves in a comfortable, quiet spot. Hmm. Taking just a simple, simple breath in, a simple breath out. Now, this is a wonderful time to remind yourself that this is an opportunity for a fresh start. No matter when or where you do this, each time you take in a breath and you release that breath, this is a wonderful way to remind yourself that it is, it's an opportunity for a fresh start. I wanna show you one of my favorites really quick. It's a four, six breathing. So you breathe in for four seconds and then you breathe out for six. Here, let me show you. I'm going to breathe in for four, three, two, one. And now you're going to breathe out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's try that one more time. Are you ready? Do it with me. I'm going to breathe in. So four, three, two, 
one, and breathe out, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, instead of my trying to time this episode precisely to the countdown of the strike at midnight, we're going to use four, six in this exercise to bring in the new year. What is amazing, however, is that you can obviously do this technique anywhere, even while driving, or even when people start counting down at 10 as the ball drops. One more cycle. Here we go. Breathing in for four, three, two, one. Breathing out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, lovely. I'm already feeling better. Now, I'd like for you to close your eyes. And when you're doing this, I want you to imagine that each breath is the ringing of a bell, symbolizing all of the let goes, all of the old pains, the disappointments of this year. And as we exhale this, we're just literally letting them go. If you still have your eyes closed, that's amazing. If you don't, if you would close your eyes, I'm going to walk you through something really quick. I'd like for you to imagine a bridge. It could be any bridge that comes to mind. Instead of one of my favorites, like Bow Bridge in New York, or maybe Tower Bridge in London, I'd rather this bridge in your mind to be one that you've never seen before. It's like a made up bridge. So completely imagined in your mind and one that your mind is created just for you right now. So one that's not familiar. Now in your mind, I'd like for you to imagine stepping onto this bridge. As you begin to take these steps in your mind, I'd like to invite you to notice with each step that you're taking visually, all that you have learned along your journey from this year. Maybe a really special moment happened this year. Maybe a really beautiful lesson was learned or maybe some time shared with family or perhaps you made some new friends, perhaps a huge win, a big success. You've spent so much time in making happen. Just imagine yourself taking steps across this bridge. And as you eventually reach the end of this bridge, I'd like for you to pause just for a moment. As your feet are just about to step off this bridge, not yet, this bridge that you just crossed over, I'd like for you to take a moment to smile at yourself. This bridge this year hasn't always been easy. Reaching the end of this bridge, it's an exciting moment. So allow yourself to stay here and take some time to appreciate what you've accomplished, what you've been through. Those steps from this year, they may have felt like a a slog, a, a mountain you never thought you would crest. You can look back now And see that each step brought you here to where you are. Allow yourself to be amazed. Now, I chose that word specifically, amazed. Be amazed at how far you've come. Take a few moments before stepping forward, knowing what you have been through, knowing what you've achieved, and all of your hard work that brought you here. Relish it. Take it in. Relish what it took to cross over this bridge. Now with your eyes still closed, standing at the end of this bridge, I want you to trust me with something that I'm about to ask of you. It may seem a bit odd, but bear with me. I haven't steered you wrong in these past two years yet. With your eyes still closed, standing at the end of this bridge. I want you to physically open your arms to stretch as wide as you can, as wide as you can to greet this next step. 
this next year with open arms. Stretching as wide as you can. And as you visualize yourself taking that step forward, each arm extended outward to symbolize a break from what was and an embrace of all that will come. Remember that this is exactly a time to look ahead, but with a calm heart, a confident step, maybe even a smile on your face. <laughs> Take that step. Slowly, let's open our eyes and let's return to the present moment. Let out a long, beautiful sigh and smile. Smile to yourself. Now, what I love about this metaphor of a bridge is the structure of an actual bridge, a physical bridge, something that we drive over all the time, is it's strong and it's a reliable structure. It reminds us of our own power to take on, to, to go over whatever comes our way. No matter what life throws at us, we can remain firm and stand our ground like the brave individual that you are. Seeing yourself reaching the end of this bridge, it symbolizes your strength, that you persevered, that you navigated through even the toughest of obstacles this year. So remember, in moments of doubt, pause for a moment to remember that not every step across this past year's bridge was easy, but it got you to where you are now. As the calendar flips from December to January, it's not unusual for us to flip our own emotional switches. We may be feeling relieved that a tough year is over, or perhaps reflecting nostalgically on all of our wonderful memories that we've shared in the past 12 months. But whatever emotion we experience as we say goodbye to this year and inch closer to the next, I'd like to remind you how there is one thing that can help us all feel better. And it seems so simple. It seems almost silly. But imagine a big fat slice of hope. Yes, I know it sounds simple, which is why it works, because it is simple. And simple usually is what works best. I think for this year, my word was grace, allowing myself plenty of grace with everything that I had been going through and then everything that was just all that we experienced. Grace was my word, and I think coming into this new year, my word is hope. Because with a bit of hope, some perseverance, maybe a few beads of sweat here and there, you'll make it through whatever lies ahead, just as you did crossing the bridge this year. When difficult moments of fear and doubt creep in, count from one to ten. Taking four seconds for the breath in and six seconds for the breath out. Using your mind to transport yourself back to that bridge. Remembering how you crossed it this year. That bridge where you faced down your fears. This bridge that you crossed and emerged a different person than when you began. Having already learned that no matter what life throws at you, you can weather the storm and you can come out a victor on the other end of this bridge, this bridge that I have come to call the bridge of hope. Each of us has stood at the precipice of this bridge every year. We do it this time every year, searching for the courage to take a step forward into the unknown. We quiver in fear and plan our escape route just in case. But when we find ourselves with our backs against the wall and desperation seeping in, 
there's a moment that we can actually pause where we inhale peace and we exhale resilience. All six seconds of resilience. You can make it across this bridge if you just keep taking step after step after step. That's why I call it the Bridge of Hope. Fear may try to step on board, but so long as you continue counting your breaths and pressing forward, those fears, those doubts, those unknowns will eventually become your wins, your strengths, your knowns. Your arms wide open, let out a big sigh and smile when you take that first step into the new year. Because this bridge, this bridge of hope, is here to remind you that everything is possible. To find more episodes of Calm It Down, hear the musical playlist from today's episode, or simply wanting to know where to send chocolate chip cookies, visit CalmItDownPodcast.com. You're not alone. You are not alone. This podcast was written and produced by yours truly, Chad Lawson, composer, pianist, and nationally recognized Sweet Tooth. And now something my attorney wants me to say. The views, expressions, and techniques in this episode are of my personal opinion and is not intended to, nor should they serve as a substitute for medical advice or diagnosis rendered to you by your individual doctor or other healthcare provider. Only a licensed physician should evaluate your situation, provide a diagnosis, or render other medical advice to you, and you should only act upon the advice of such physician. Now, what I'd like to say. I am an extreme empath by nature. But my profession is that of a composer and pianist, not a licensed therapist or physician. I hear from thousands of listeners how my music has helped them through various stages of emotional needs, and I simply want to offer this and future podcasts in aiding those needs. To find a list of licensed professionals in your area, please visit CalmItDownPodcast.com. And finally, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review. While it takes less than 60 seconds to do, its impact will last for years to come as every little bit helps in growing the awareness and the importance of emotional health. I'm Chad Lawson, and until next time, be kind to your mind, and join me next week as we calm it down.